A few years ago, I was an angry blue haired feminist. I Feminism is a scam. A few years ago, I was an angry blue haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth. Yeah, now that I decided to get on TikTok and realize that like misogyny is popping, dude. Oh my God, I know the truth. It's so good. It's moment, gotta be a debate, by the way. It, this has got to be a debate. Day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Before women had the right to vote, most were stay-at-home wives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed. Our overlords didn't like that. Rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media. And as a consequence... Bro, anytime I hear this song in the background, I know someone is about to say the most unhinged shit, dude. Every time I hear this song, though, on TikTok, it's always like, yeah, uh, indigenous people actually didn't exist. Did you know that the original Native Americans, the indigenous people, were actually the black people? And that it was one of the specific tribes that was a black tribe that ended up uh, being separated from the rest of the tribes and was used uh, and, and was enslaved by the other indigenous people. And it's like, what the fuck are you saying? What? What are you saying right now? What are you saying? Like, everything you just said, you could have just read a book. You could have read a fucking book and you would have realized like it, that's not true and it is demonstrably not true and you could have fucking literally found out by reading one book, single, one, singular book, okay? Not many books, just one book, Wikipedia page. Not even a book, read a Wikipedia page, okay? Holy fuck. Let's get back to the feminism is fake thing lives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed our overlords didn't like that rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media and as a consequence of the movement women started entering the workforce and leaving the home children would then be separated from their parents and sent to rockefeller funded schools to be indoctrinated by the state all of this ultimately disrupting the family unit at its core feminism is defined as the belief in social economic and political equality of the sexes but in the west i must ask what rights do men have that women don't Modern feminists are convincing women that hook up. I don't know, like uh, control over their own pussy, dude. I mean, that's one. I'm being really fucking gross in the language that I'm using, but like that's literally one of the fundamental things that like women don't have that men do. You know what I mean? If you're a guy, you're not getting punished, okay? And that's like, yeah, to a certain degree, that's basic biology, but like what you can do, the steps you can do to deal with it are very different. That's a pretty, I don't know, it's kind of important. It's like, it's something that impacts like 50% of the fucking population. What are you talking about? What are you even talking about? F what do you mean, what am I talking about? Hello? Have you, are you familiar with the Supreme Court case? And the Supreme Court decision that struck down Roe v. Wade? Have you been in here for the past like month or so? I don't know. Were you in a coma? Did you just wake up today? Is that what happened? You just woke up from a coma. You're like, oh, man. Well, obviously, Roe v. Wade is still secure. A woman's right to be able to, uh, you know, do whatever they want with their own body is, is probably still intact, right? I just woke, up from, <laughs> just woke up from a coma today. Hassan, can you please fill me in? Is that Rockefeller shit true? No, dude. What? Yo, motherfuckers hear the word Rockefeller and go, this must be true. Culture, using hormonal birth control, and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity- No, dude, the fucking not shaving is liberation is a pendulum, okay? That is just a pendulum swing. Patriarchal constructs have created and designed a society that makes it so that the way that a woman looks and fitting a certain standard of beauty, especially Western uh, standards of beauty, is the most important thing a woman can do. And it's so incredibly prescient, it's so powerful, that it unironically it determines what, how women feel about themselves, okay? So the pendulum shift in the other direction was that, was like, no, fuck that, I'm not gonna shave. Uh, and, and I'm not going to abide by uh, traditional, I mean, not traditional, Western standards of beauty, okay? I don't like it personally, I'm not a fan of it, but hey, you know, do you. Do you? I personally am of the mindset that like, uh, you know, not shaving your armpits or whatever the fuck is not activism. It's not. But it's also not something that like you should be going fucking crazy over either. Okay? That's it. 
Just do it. Do you. Do you. Do your thing. Do your thing. But that is a consequence of that is a consequence of patriarchal constructs and people that are are uh, completely completely fucking powerless in the face of dealing with systemic change, taking matters into their own hands. And it's also it's also basically commoditized social justice because capitalism runs every part of our lives, including social justice. So that is an inoffensive way to make a statement, okay? That's it, which is why corporations and, and the capitalist structure can be on board with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, queen, go ahead. Don't shave your armpits like you're killing it, okay? That's it. That, that's it. It's inoffensive. It doesn't actually undermine the hierarchy that is set. So that's precisely why it's a, it's a, type, of, it's a type of activism that uh, corporations will, will consider and, and say is activism. And as far as like hormonal birth control goes, yeah, that is fucking horrible. That's horrible. There should be better, uh, th there absolutely should be better medical medicine, better medical technology in that field. But unfortunately, considering another uh, consequence of patriarchy, which is that uh, these, the fields of medicine and everything else has been dominated by men for a very long fucking time. So we're just now learning about pussy. Okay, uh, uh, as a consequence of like most uh, most people that were involved in such matters were just dudes who didn't really understand it at all. Look to endometriosis and how it's extremely common in women, but so little is known about it still. Yeah, it's also super important for medical research. There's so much still so much mystery surrounding the female anatomy. Yeah, this is something that is like broadly covered in medical ethics. Uh, when you go to med school, you learn about this, including medical racism. So... Um, you can say I'm being like a fucking woke social justice warrior or some shit, but like, it is the truth that like, when you have, uh, when, when you have a field dominated historically by dudes, uh, dudes don't really care to, or truly understand or can't truly comprehend the depths of the pussy. That's why someone like Ben Shapiro, who is married to a fucking doctor can still come out and say, oh, if you're pussy is wet that means you have a medical uh, uh you know disorder this are convincing women that hookup culture using hormonal birth control and not shaving is liberation that toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled through movies and media we're taught that working for the man climbing the corporate ladder and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts and birth rates are plummeting i mean i've said this before and i will uh, say it again what are you doing about it, huh? Why are you on TikTok? Why are you on TikTok? Go churn some butter with the rest of the fucking, with the rest of the fucking Amish. I fucking despise trad femmes on TikTok. Bro, why are you on TikTok? Do you understand what is going on on this platform? I'm serious. You can't just, you can't be fucking trad femme and then put bisexual lighting behind you and then talk about how fucking feminism sucks. Why should anybody listen to you? If you don't want anybody to listen to you, why are you on TikTok? Why are you trying to get people to listen to you if your argument is women should not be seen or heard? I don't get it. It's literally a self-defeating argument. Through movies and media, we're taught that working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder, and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation. Women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts, and birth rates are plummeting. Men and women are not the same. And by protesting for equality of outcome rather than opportunity, feminists are demonizing and emasculating men. Aw, oh, poor man being demonized and emasculated. Work harder. Work harder. If you're a man, if you're a man, and you're fucking so intimidated by women in the workplace, then work fucking harder. Don't be a bitch. Work harder. I don't give a fuck that women are in the workplace. That makes me fucking grind harder, motherfucker. Why? Because I'm a top G, a real top G. By the way, it wasn't bait. It was set up like, it was set up in, in, the, in the dumbest way possible. So I, of course, thought it was fucking bait. But no. Oh, she's an NFT cuck? Oh, no shit. Yeah, she was like, I want to be a whole ass clown and not just a contortionist. Like, before the pandemic, I was a fucking contortionist. Now I'm a whole clown. We need to fucking empower men by being property. We need to empower men by being property to men once again. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop talking. 